Hey everyone, welcome back to another vlog. I'm headed to Home Goods. This is gonna be my first time going to Home Goods in Chicago. I'm really not looking for anything. I just feel like browsing. I can't think of anything in particular that I want to get for our place. Um, I thought about doing some fall decor, but I don't know. I'm kind of like up in the air about it still. And, you know, it's just, I'm trying to just keep things so minimal. And I like what we have now and how it's kind of flowing, how everything is just flowing. And so I don't want to disrupt that with junk. And so I'm just trying to find a balance with the decor, you know, without going too crazy with leaves and pumpkins and, you know, just stuff. Yeah, I really don't have any like desire to buy any fall decor. Yeah. But I do want to just look around because I have not been at Home Goods in months. Like, I don't even know the last time I was in a home goods, to be honest with you. I want to say it was at the beginning of the summer, maybe. But so that's why I'm just like, eh. I really just don't have a desire for anything. I'm even thinking like kitchen stuff, but I'm trying to keep that to a minimum as well. So I'm not going to force it, but I do just want to browse and I figure why not bring you guys with us. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. All right, guys, so PJ and I are back home now. We had a nice walk, went to a new coffee shop. Let me look up the name of this place. Someone messaged me on Instagram and recommended and shared a list of like recommendations um, of like coffee shops. And so I was like, oh, I'll try that one out. So it's called Sawada Coffee. And um, they have one in New York as well, but really, really nice. So they do like latte art, but I didn't get a latte, so um, I didn't see that. But if you go on their Instagram page, they do a lot of like latte art. Yeah, really, really cool spot. Um, I didn't stay and stick around, but it's really, really, really interesting. And so I got a cold brew with... Um, I think he said like a Tokyo brown sugar sweetener. Don't quote me on that. I'll look it up and list it here for you guys. And then I got a matcha donut. Looked so good. So obviously I'm not going to eat this whole thing. I'm just going to have a little tiny piece and then I'll let Seth have the rest as his little after school uh, snack. But 
yeah really 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 cool spot and this was the photo <laughs> that had me like ooh, i want to try that matcha donut so definitely check it out if you guys haven't um also thank you for sending me suggestions for coffee shops because obviously i love coffee so i'm always down for a cute little coffee shop um moment so we went there uh now we're just having some lunch well pj's having his lunch um with a view <laughs> he likes to look out the window while he eats so that's what he's doing i need to finish um editing the what i eat in a day um that you guys would have already saw by the time this vlog goes up but i'm almost done i did it really casual i didn't do a lot of fluff you know i just kept it real simple and casual so i'm basically done i just gotta add a few more little titles and then do one more run through before i import and upload to youtube so yeah i'm gonna try to have that up today before i go pick up sefton today is wednesday so that's the plan but yeah uh yesterday we went to home goods and literally y'all the only thing i got was this this is a pumpkin caramel scone skinny syrup zero calorie that's all i got like there was so much just like spooky halloween decor not much fall decor so yeah that's all i got there was yeah it, it was just okay um i do want to go to cb2 at some point this week so we'll do that um i just need to get some new glasses to make my iced coffees because i have oh hold on hold on guys i gotta get pj more food here you go. Yeah, I've become um, prisoner uh, to the plastic cups. <laughs> so I need to get some legit glasses because like I mentioned um, in my last vlog, I got rid of so many of my glasses and mugs and stuff. So I just want to get a new set of glasses that I can use to make my iced coffees. PK and Stefan use solo cups to drink out of. Um, we drink bottled water things like that so i'm really the only one that uses glasses um, however we are having company this weekend so they may want to use a glass so i at least want to have some glasses for the company but yeah i'm just gonna finish editing and then we'll head out and get set from school and i'll probably check in with you guys later so yeah all right hey guys so just got back in i had ran a few errands after i dropped Seth off at school and i thought i would share with you all a little target haul because i picked up a few things for my hair because i'm gonna wash my hair this weekend and in my last video uh i got a few suggestions from some friends there so i want to share with you guys just in case you all need some assistance with your hair care as well so yeah i bought like so much random stuff like it's pretty funny but i figured why not share anyway so yeah excuse the lighting i'm still trying to figure out you know my sit down situation we just gonna have to make this work for now but um yeah if you guys have any questions about our furniture it is from room and board the chair and the two sofas um, both sofas are identical they are custom um, we picked this color and material and size and everything it was really 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 important for us to have sofas that accommodated tall because pk is 6'5 so you know we were very 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 particular about the sizing of the sofas we wanted high backs and comfort at the same time and so we've been really really loving these sofas like we live on these sofas all day every day um, and it's just so nice so highly recommend i will link them below if you guys are interested in some sofas they took forever 
forever to come. The chair and the sofa came, and then six months later, the other sofa came. So it took forever, um, but that seems to be, you know, the thing right now with furniture. It's taking forever for furniture to come in. So yeah, we've really been loving it. And um, we got this nice little ottoman you guys can't see here, but um, PK just has like some of his like books and stuff on there. But yeah, so let's get into the haul. Oh, and Plant Baby is thriving in this little corner, so she is loving life. Other plants are thriving as well, so just a little update on the Plant Babies. Everyone is alive and well. Thank you, Jesus. Let's just get into this quick little Target haul before we run back out because I have other errands to run today too. The first thing is this Revlon um, Power of a Dryer Volume of a Styler. <laughs> <laughs> hair dryer uh this was recommended to me by tiff shout out to tiff tiff daily beats that's my girl she's always hooking me up she left a comment on that video and said that i need to get this and so i was like done i'm getting it so i got this i haven't used it yet it's still in the box um because i am going to be doing my hair this weekend probably Sunday um, so I will be testing it out then but I'm super excited she said that this is the goat and all of the reviews confirm that so here's how it looks and I'm really excited to try this out like, so hopefully it makes things a little bit easier for me when I'm doing my own hair I'll keep you guys posted on this but I'm excited to try it out I decided to get some new hair products um, still gonna be using my design essentials but you know since I'm in this whole kitchen beautician phase I figured I would experiment with some other shampoos and I saw this uh, Od Odell Odile it's a clarifying shampoo and so I mean it literally looks like it has nothing in it no sulfates no formaldehyde no i don't know how to pronounce that no parabens no dyes no, no synthetic fragrance um best for hair that's straight wavy curly coily fine medium and coarse so pretty much all hair types so i'm gonna give this a try see how i like it and then i also got the leave-in conditioner for deep moisture detangling and frizz control sulfate free 100 percent natural fragrance and so i wanted to give this a try because i do like using leave-in conditioners um, on my hair my stylist uses leave-in conditioner on my hair as well and so i thought i would give this a try too so got that and it doesn't hurt that it is very aesthetically pleasing love the packaging so sleek and chic and looks really good in the shower with my other like body care products they kind of coordinate so yeah but hopefully they work out if they don't then you know i'll just move on and try something else but i don't mind trying new shampoos and conditioners I'm just very particular about things like treatments and stuff like that like i won't be doing my own hair treatments and things like that i'll just leave that to my stylist but i do always run products by her before i try anything and she signed off on that so we're good to go so i got that then my other friend tiffany left me a comment on my last blog and said that i need to try the frenchie lavender cloud hair body and linen mist she specifically said this one she even screenshot and sent me a dm <laughs> letting me know that i need to try this tiff girl you never steer me wrong so that's why i went ahead and got it this stuff smells so good y'all if you get anything from this Frenchie line get this this is it right here y'all this is so nice so loving the Frenchie line this is the second product that I have purchased from the line and I have been really 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 impressed so love that I got a couple of these little pumpkins for Seth he asked for these the last time we were in Target and I told him no. 
um because i was already going to get them for him anybody else kids like that like they don't even give you a chance to like surprise them or do something special we're at the point now where he has his own money and i'm like trying to teach him to save you know like just because you have money doesn't mean you have to spend it every time you go in the store and so i convinced him to save his money and i went and got them for him <laughs> but they're two little pumpkins he said that he wanted this set because he you know one for him one for pj they're going to decorate the pumpkins i'm here for it i love that so i got these little mini pumpkins for my boys to decorate for halloween um i'm not doing any like halloween decor because that's just not the vibe but for my kids i will always allow them to indulge in little things like this you know we'll bake cookies and do the fun you know halloween things but I just won't be decorating my home for Halloween. Christmas, different story. So I got these for Seth and I think they were like $5 for both of these, so. Oh, I got these for Seth and PJ because he'll see this video and be like, no, those are for both of us, so got that. The next item I wanna show you guys is something that I'm super excited about and only moms with babies or small kids will appreciate this, but I got this. I've actually been using it like I loaded it up as soon as I got home because we're going to head out and go for a walk here as soon as uh, PJ wakes up from his nap. But I got a stroller organizer. <sighs> Never thought that I needed something like this until I moved here and I realized I need this. And there's a reason why. because. While there is storage underneath his stroller, that's cool and all. But when you live in the city and you're walking a lot like we do everywhere, you don't want, at least I don't feel safe or comfortable with my St. Laurent <laughs> diaper bag underneath the stroller. That's the dog if you guys hear him. He's <laughs> it's moving around over there also don't feel comfortable like putting my purses under there either but i still like using my bags so got this so nice it's black it's slender it fits perfectly on pj's stroller and it holds all of my necessities on a day-to-day -day when we're out going for our walks it holds PJ's I just put this in here it doesn't have anything in it yet but it holds PJ's bottles I have my little Prada pouch and this has my lippies um, hand lotion and a little hand sanitizer spray I have my sunglasses I'll link these for you guys I got a lot of questions in my last video about these um, so I'll link them for you uh, my keys uh, another little hand sanitizer these uh, little boogie hand sanitizer wipes for PJ's hands and Septon if we're out and about and I need to wipe their hands really really quick these are great I have one diaper and then a pack of wipes and that all fits in this little compartment so this thing is, is just great so excited and then in this little zip pocket which comes apart you can unzip this and it turns into a little wristlet i will not be using this as a wristlet but i like that the, that you have that option i'm just going to leave it attached because this is where my card case is and i just got a little cash up there this has my id insurance cards debit cards credit cards everything that i need on a day-to-day when we're out walking around is in here and then i just have my airpods and everything is so convenient and it's just right there in front of me it's secure it's safe um i don't have to you know whenever i'm at the checkout i don't have to like dig underneath the uh stroller to look for things like that became a hassle for me and um I started to notice that really, really quickly. So yeah, and also a phone fits perfectly in here as well. So this 
is going to be great because like I said, we walk a lot. And so this is going to be great. And it just attaches, oops, just attaches to the stroller like this. I will link that for any moms that are interested because like I said, that is something that I did not think I needed until I moved here. Um, because you guys know I have my little car caddy that has all his stuff in it, which I still have that. But to be honest with you, I don't drive my car much at all. Um, and so I needed something. I use the stroller more than I use my car. So <laughs> there's that. But yeah, I'm excited to have that. And I'm going to put that back on the stroller. And then if I do want to carry one of my bags, which most of my bags are crossbody or shoulder, um, I can still wear my bags. And this will just be for PJ stuff. So, you know, just trying to make life a little bit easier for myself. That's all. Um, and then a few other things I got. I got some drinks because... I don't know i just felt like buying drinks so i got this lacroix guava sparkling water i love sparkling water it's so good and then i got this dream dream world limited edition coca-cola did i get the sugar-free one i thought i got the sugar-free one dang it well i meant to get the sugar-free one but I got the regular one, so I'm gonna have to return this because I don't drink regular Coke anything, but they look the same. So I thought I was getting the sugar-free one, but yeah, I got this, so I gotta return that. Just got a thing of water. So yeah, I'm gonna put this back in the stroller too, which his under stroller storage I'll link his stroller because I've gotten several questions about it. It has a lot of room underneath. Like when we go to the like grocery store or any stores, I can put everything underneath there just fine. So I'm just gonna throw this back under there. And then while we're out, I'll stop in Target and do an exchange and get the correct one because I wanted the sugar-free one, not that one yeah that's it i am going to get this stuff put away finish watching a little bit of tv edit reply to some comments because i uploaded my what i eat in a day video yesterday um i'm so happy that you guys are enjoying that i just wanted to do something a little bit different um but don't worry uh vlogs will still be rolling in <laughs> consistently because i know you guys love the vlogs but i just wanted to do something a little bit different and you guys know that i'm on this postpartum weight loss journey and so i do want to make dedicated videos for that for people who just want to see that type of stuff and you know have something to refer back to um i thought about including it in this vlog but sometimes those get lost in the vlog you know i feel like a lot of people like that skip through or for whatever reason they don't see that part of the video i wanted to just have a dedicated video for that so yeah i'm gonna get this stuff away and yeah i'll check in with you guys once we are out and about also going to work out today too, but I'm not doing that until like noon. So yeah, we're going to work out too. I'm already in my workout stuff. I just have this little sweatshirt over, but I have on my sports bra, my workout leggings. I just got to put my tennis shoes on and that's it.
right guys so back home and I want to show you guys what I picked up from CB2 so I got the glasses that I went in for here's how they look very nice and I got two but I'm thinking about going back and getting two more. I don't know, I'll see. Cause they had some other ones that I like too. And they had like, um, like the shorter version of this. So I don't know, I'm gonna mess around with these first to see how I like them. And then if I do like them, then I'll go and get some more. Because like I said, we need glasses in the house because we don't have any. I think we have like four. Um, so here they are and just thought these looked really nice minimal but modern um, and so got those and then I got this for the bathroom because um, I don't know if you guys remember I shared um, a few vlogs back I had got some soap dispensers they came glossy and I wanted matte. And so I ended up returning those and getting this for the um, kitchen counter sink. But I wanted to get one for the bathrooms as well. So I returned those and so I got these for the bathroom and they're okay but i'm not crazy about them so i was browsing the bathroom section at cb2 and i found this one so nice so i got that for the main bathroom and it's just just all matte black that's what i wanted i didn't want any chrome or anything on it i just wanted black and so got that and then I went to the kitchen section and I had saw this online, but I had never seen it in person. So when I saw it, I was like, oh, I need that. So I got this and I thought that this would be so nice for strawberries, but I like it because it's also a colander. And so you can put all your fruit in here and rinse it and clean it and put it in the refrigerator. So love this and it just looks so nice and just modern and minimal. And so yeah, even grapes like will be great for this. So and I absolutely love it. Cannot wait to put our fruit in here. So got that. So yeah, guys, that was everything that I picked up from CB2. I'm going to go ahead and close the vlog out here. Hope you all enjoyed. I will link everything below because I know I talked about a lot of stuff in this vlog. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you on my next one. Bye.